Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 11th video as part of our series of video related to Tally's release 6.1. And we are covering the enhancements provided related to MSME revised form 1. So this is part 3 and the concluding part related to understanding the MSME feature that is provided in 6.1. So in this video, we will quickly learn how we can correct any error and what is the process of uploading or capturing the data in the Excel template provided by MSME. Let us go to tally and explore this option. We can observe here that there are two parties where the pan is not available, incomplete or invalid. Let us take the first ledger, Sharda Traders, where there is no PAN has been captured. Let us now update the PAN. Select the party ledger and press Control Enter. We will be taken to the ledger master alteration screen. Come down to the field of PAN IT number and specify the PAN. So let me specify the pan here. Tally will only verify the structure of the pan entered. It will not validate whether the entered pan belongs to this party. Now save this ledger alteration screen and you will notice that this party is now listed under valid pan listing. Let's take the second one. Again, press control enter. This is not complete. Enter pan here save this control a once you save the voucher you will notice that the party masters has moved to section 2 which includes party with valid pan now both pieces of missing information has been corrected and all the transactions for this period are complete and ready to be exported to an excel template before we export as discussed in our first video, download the revised Form 1 Excel template after logging into the portal. Copy this file to the folder where you want to export the annexed data from Tally Prime. Notice on the screen here, I have created a folder MSME Form 1 and the template has been copied to this folder. Now, when exporting the annexure from Tally Prime, you must specify this folder. Let us now export the annexure from Tally. Click on export and you will see here an option MSME form 1 annexure. Click here and click on configure. Come down here and change the folder path. Once you have specified the path, you can just press escape and now click on export. Tally is now exporting the annexure information from Tally Prime into Excel. The data is exported and now we have this information. This is the instructions sheet of the template. And when you click here, this is where we have the data. So you will see here each party pan wise, the data is captured as per the respective columns. Click on enable content. Important information. Again, you need to provide the reason for the delay in payment for all the payments made after 45 days credit period and for all the bills which are outstanding for more than 45 days you have to specify the reason once you fill in the reason save the file and now you are ready to upload the same i hope these three parts would give you a fair idea of how you can configure your tally data for msme compliance and also use the revised feature that is provided for you to export quickly into the Excel template that has been provided and upload it on the MSME portal. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.